Hey everyone, this is Borvak. I uh, got uh, another Ramble review, this time covering uh, You Are Deadpool number four. So uh, I've been busy the last uh, week or so, uh, moving, still in the process, uh, but um, a little bit out of practice here with these reviews. Uh, but, you know, wanted to jump back in with something light and fun and silly. So uh, we're going to do uh, You Are Deadpool. Um, I already tried recording this video once and my phone wasn't cooperating, so we're kind of starting over again. But uh, if you'll remember, in the last video, we covered uh, You Are Deadpool number two. Um, I ended that with a badness score of one, a sadness score of zero, and uh, five dollars in my pocket. Because uh, you got an inventory and stat system in this. Um, and uh, we also were left off with the instructions to move on to issue not number three, but number four. So that's uh, what we're doing, I guess. Um, we'll jump right in. We, in the last issue, we charged the time helmet using the, the cosmo ray, cosmic rays. And uh, now apparently Deadpool is emerging, as you'll see by the not-so-subtle context cues in 1985. He says, hey, this isn't where I want to be. Um, I better jump quick before something happens, and uh, <clears throat> something happens. Uh, this guy is apparently a villain called the Arranger, and he comes in and he, he yoinks down Deadpool's pants, and then Bullseye steals the time helmet. Uh, Deadpool tackles... Um, uh, the arranger, but before the arranger can spill, can quote unquote not spill the beans on his boss. Uh, de, uh, uh, what's his name? Bullseye. Uh, I guess bullseyes him with a either either on purpose or on accident with a bowling ball. And we've got more inventory slots. We probably could pick up that bowling ball if we want to, but um, I'm going to save that slot for later. I don't know. Uh, that'll probably be important, but I don't know. Um, so we're breaking into uh, Matt Murdock's apartment next, and the, the comic reminds us that we can fit anything smaller than a bread box in our inventory. So I'm going to steal both of these textbooks, Textbook of Anatomy and Law 101. And I already have that here on my sheet. We've got um, still that $5 Anatomy textbook and Law 101. So Matt Murdock isn't too happy about getting his apartment broken into. <laughs> and Deadpool makes a comment. Yeah, this I gotta read this word for word. Daredevil, what are you doing here? In Matt Murdock's apartment, in Matt Murdock's favorite sweatshirt, drinking Matt Murdock's coffee. Am I supposed to know at this point? I forget. And Matt Murdock <laughs> does some weird internal monologue about manliness in the 80s, which is kind of funny. Um, and then... Uh, we get a Matt Murtis asks uh, Deadpool again. He asks us because uh, we are Deadpool, or at least I am. You guys are too. Um, he asks us what we're doing in his apartment, and uh, we get to either say I'm an Avenger, I'm a Thunderbolt, or look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Um, I'm gonna go with Avenger. I don't know how true that is, but I know he was an Avenger at least for a hot minute. Um, so to say we're an Avenger, go to twenty-eight. And uh, Matt Murdock doesn't believe us. <laughs> Deadpool says, well, I was once. Okay, so we add two to our sadness score. So that leaves us now with uh, one badness and two sadness. And it says, go to panel 60. Uh, 60. So we're going to fight... Um, that uh, two-headed monkey. Oh, well, there really is a two-headed monkey, apparently. Oh, I should have chose that option. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta cheat. If we had told him it was a two-headed monkey, apparently he would have said, oh, a three-headed monkey. He would have said, no, I can tell it's only a two-headed monkey, and then he would have kicked it, and we would have still had to fight him. Uh, that's goofy. Okay, so we have to fight him. He gets 3d6, we get 2d6, um, and he's going to beat us. He gets 2 plus 2 plus 4. He gets 8, and we get <laughs> 6. 8, we, we tie, we win. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 
So go to 81 if we win. Where is 81? Okay, so we win. Um, <laughs> I won't I won't kill you, Hornhead. I've done it in two separate mini series already and it's getting old. <laughs> but I do need the info on the Kingpin, so talk. That uh Daredevil says, Oh wait, you're after him too? If you're serious about fighting Fisk, I can tell you this much. His secret two digit elevator code is descending is in descending numerical order. Hmm. I'm gonna make a note of that. Deadpool would have made a note of that. Uh, Kingpin. Code. Descending. Numerical. Order. There. You guys can read that, right? Yeah. Um, that way I don't forget. So, uh... <laughs> useful stuff too bad he's such a square uh shake him loose and go to 26 okay numerical code is in descending numerical order okay so we go to 26 aha um next we're going to look for one of kingston stooges named turk i guess and where he's going to be hiding out in josie's bar uh, are we going to go in through the door uh, are we going to go through the window, or are we going to go around back? I'm going to go around back, Let's see if we can sneak in. That's uh, 49. Uh, okay. Uh, ninjas are guarding the kitchen. They get 2d6, I get 2d6. Let's see if we can beat them. They get 6, of course. Plus 5. <laughs> I get 5. Plus six. Okay, I tie and win. Are these loaded dice? Um, so if I win, which we did, uh, if you beat them both, go to 56. Okay. All right. So we're in the diner now. Deadpool says, hello, boys. He starts beating people up with frying pans. <laughs> Deadpool tells the chef to save him the steak while he's beating up thugs. Um, okay, so roll a four or higher to proceed. What if I don't roll a four or higher to proceed? Oh, here's the rules for this page. Was I really supposed to go to 56? I think that was right. And if I beat the ninjas, go to 56. Okay, we're starting in the middle of this page. Rules couldn't be simpler. Starting at your chosen entry point, follow the panels in any direction to rampage through the bar in search of Turk, who's hiding in the back office. Along the way, you'll have to make dice rolls to proceed. Fail one, and you lose the bar brawl and go straight to panel 30. Ooh, if we lose once, we go to panel 30. Dang. Uh, so we're starting in later on in this fight, so we have a lower chance of losing, but watch me muff this one. So, yep, I roll a three. Okay, um, so we lose. We go to panel 30. All right. The bar fight isn't going well. <laughs> no need to get violent, Deadpool says. <laughs> Um, and the Punisher shows up and saves us, apparently, by shooting this guy in the head. He's in his classic costume. Cool, that's one barload of fallible human beings that won't make poor life choices again, <laughs> no matter what the courts decide. Yeah, that's true. Um, so how about it, Frank? Fancy a team up, the old you and the new me? Oh. And Punisher says, not interested, Webs. Hmm. Huh. So the Punisher doesn't, he thinks this guy's, he thinks Deadpool's Spider-Man. 
Uh, he won't get the clue we were looking for here. Either add two to your sadness. Oh, man, I'm getting pretty sad. Um, two to sadness score and go to 18. Four sad and one bad. We're going to 18. 18. Okay. I've got one more lead. The arranger mentioned Earth's most evil foreign power, and that can only mean Canada. <laughs> uh, we have healthcare, reader. Uh, healthcare. Okay. Canadian Embassy is a front for Department K. Canada's own budget weapon X. <laughs> uh, and something escaped. Uh, we were trying to create a super soldier. No longer. International assistant John's strike blade. Know me now as Grasshopper95. <laughs> Uh, and though my appearance might be unknown to you, your defeat at my hands will shortly become known to you. Hmm. Uh, if you have a pistol, go to 61. If you have an anatomy textbook, go to 44. I do have an anatomy textbook. Um, otherwise, he gets 3d6. Yeah, I'm glad we got the anatomy textbook. So we're going to 44. Where is 44? Okay. Really? Okay. Anatomy, go to 44. Okay. The product of an overly liberal society, you will soon buy the product of an illegal genetic experiment, me. be trounced mightily and do not think the absence of my brethren sick uh, uh in any way depletes my fighting power as you will soon know and eh, what's that take a good look pal it shows them the anatomy textbook <laughs> it's functional human anatomy clearly delineated the muscle so small the line work so undynamic does not compute head fall off protocol act what <laughs> um <laughs> uh, the 90s were terrible apparently send your complaints to jordan d white at mheroes at marvel.com be sure to mark them okay to print okay <laughs> and we're going to page 76 or panel 76. There we go. So we defeated that guy with an anatomy textbook, I guess. So much for Weapon G. Now give me the spiel on your kingpin deal, Doc. And Doc says, uh, all I know is that the secret invasion code is an even number. But please, with that time helmet, Canada could rule the earth. Where's your loyalty, man? Uh, is Deadpool Canadian? I don't know. Um, okay, so it's an even number. I'm going to write that down. It is an even number. I'm taking this seriously, people. Uh, where's your loyalty? I'm loyal to nothing, Doc, except the dream, eh? What? Mourn that lost national innocence, baby. Add two to your sadness score. I'm getting really sad. One, two, or six sadness now. And go to the kingpin's lair. Go to 50. Oh, man. I'm not ready for this. Is that 50? 50. All right, we're in kingpin's lair. Soon in the Fisk building. Hey guys, I'm here to use Mr. Fisk's private elevator. <laughs> Job interview, huh? Make sure you pick the right floor to get off. Or you might get offed. Ha ha. I'm gonna better get that two digit code right. Go to the panel number of the button you think is correct. Oh, 
This is going to be bad. Okay, so it's an even number, and it's a descending numerical order. So it couldn't be 24, couldn't be 23, couldn't be 38, couldn't be 39, couldn't be 43, could be 42, could be 94. We can't go back and find any more clues, can we? 42 or 94. We've got either the 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 bay that the Millennium Falcon was docked in or the answer to life, the universe, and everything. 83, so it's really 93, 43, 38, 39, 23, 24. Um, Star Wars hasn't been doing so good for me recently, so we're going to go to 42. Probably a bad idea. Um, okay, so we're going to 42. Forty-two says go to twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two says go to sixty-three. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh, oh, interesting. What do you know? I guess right. All right, answer to life, universe, and everything. Forty-two does it for us. Which puts me right in the secret penthouse lair of the kingpin, ready to foil his perverted plan. Oh no. I wasn't expecting it to be that perverted. Per perverted. Uh, and apparently. Gasp. Filskin Whisk, the pin king? Uh, with that time hat, I'll make bowling the national sport, as it was always meant to be, and make big bucks doing it. Okay. But what about the Simpsons, the Big Lebowski, Tekken Bowl? Alter history and those pinnacles of bowling culture may never be. Aha, I don't care. Like all the best villains, I choose personal gain over what I profess to love. Ah, uh, that's very insightful. Bullseye, slay him with pleasure. Bullseye has 3d6, three rolls to your two. If you win, go to 60. Oh, no, oh, no, if you win, go to 47. If you lose, go to 95. Oh, you have a bull. Oh, I should have had a bowling ball. Oh, well, I could have had a bowling ball. He's got four, six, plus one. He's got 11. I've got four. I've got 11. Man, I keep tying these guys and winning because a tie is a win in this game. Okay, so um, if you win, go to 47. We're going to go to 47. Uh, where's 47? 40, really? No, that can't be right. Uh, I'm losing track of where I am. have to leaf through this really quick and see where we were a second ago. I'm going to divert the camera because I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, here we go. 97, okay. We won, so we go to 97. Can't read through the camera. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we won the fight. So I beat beat Bullseye, I thought. Okay. You're finished, Deadpool, in my hands. Anything is a weapon, including these deadly these deadly weapons, okay. Yeah, you're good, Bullseye. Maybe you're even magic, but I am magic missile. Ha ha ha. Griggle hit arg. And as for you, King a pin king you ended up in the gutter but at least you're seeing stars oh. we did it reader the time helmet is mine again and mayor fisk owes me a favor 
Did you say Mayor Fisk? Now there's an idea. <laughs> Time jump activated. Whoops, looks like I've made some future trouble for old Hornhead. I should probably feel bad about that. But how bad? How sad? As sad as the 70s? The choices you made, select your destination, check for sadness score. If it's four or higher, move to issue three. Oh, we get to move back to issue three. Interesting. So we have a sadness score higher than four. It's six. If it's three or lower, move to issue two. If you've already played, choose the, pick the other one. And if you've already played through both, move to issue number five, the final chapter. Oh, so we can play these in, in um, out of order. We're going from issue four to issue three. Stay lucky, true believer. The adventure continues. And the adventures conclude next week. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is kind of goofy, kind of fun. Um, I guess we'll see what happens next time. If you guys played this, um, you know, go pick it up for yourself. Play it. Um, if you if you can't get a hold of it, maybe pick up the trade paperback. I'm sure that's doubt, uh, due out in several months. But uh, if you played it, let me know how you did. Did you make different choices than I did? Um, and how did it work out for you? I can't believe some of those roles. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, if you like my stupid videos for some reason, feel free to subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, sorry, this one took so long. I guess it was a playthrough, so we had to, you know, I don't know, took as much time as it took. So uh, next review will be shorter. I uh, apologize for the length. Um, Unless you guys like long videos. I don't know. Let me know either way. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.